Now only I start the recorded. And we have, I welcome all the participants and uh, today's speaker, Dr. P. S. Kumar, <coughs> is a MD of uh, ETA Smart Private Limited. Today the topic is uh, strategy and method to handle the tough times. I think uh, he is a former LNT vice president, so he will uh, explain uh, or he share his uh, knowledge and uh, knowledge and other experience with uh, all the participants regarding that how to uh, win that strategy and method to handle the tough time in uh, during this period. Now over to the Dr. P. S. Kumar. Thank you, uh, Mr. Ramdas. Uh, thanks, IEA, uh, Mr. Ramdas, Chairman of IEA TNSC Center, and uh, Mr. Balamurhan, Dr. Balamurhan, who is the organizer of uh, all these e webinars. Uh, it's the right time for us to discuss about um, methods and strategies to handle the tough times. Okay, so um, if you, how many of you might have seen that? Uh, Gangru and Bumblebee. So Gangru and Bumblebee, scientists across the world proved, proved it many times that Bumblebee cannot fly and Kangaroo cannot jump. I'm repeating it. Scientists across the world proved it many times scientifically that Bumblebee cannot jump, fly and Kangaroo cannot jump. Because the wings Bumblebee has it is very thin and the capacity of the wings and the weight of the Bumblebee, these wings cannot lift itself. Similarly, the Gangru eats very less and that is not sufficient for the Gangru's legs to give the force to jump. But you know very well, both Bumblebee as well as Gangru are flying and keep jumping because they don't know these scientific facts. The same way, um, if we believe in ourselves, okay, that is the starting point of our success. There will be a lot of connections, a lot of scientists, economics, people will be coming and telling about the uh, uh, world is going to be like this, the economy downturn is going to happen. All these things, people can say it. Okay, you can, take this as an input, but you need not worry about that. Okay. And if you see it, if you are confident and if you have faith in yourself, you can make anything which is impossible possible. So today situation is because of Corona, dollar is dropping, Euro is dropping, rupee is dropping, ruble is dropping, yen is dropping, you name any, any country in the world, Everyone is affecting. Economic uncertainty is going hard. The people are suffering because of the sales loss. But when this is happening, we think that the business is going to uh, collapse. If you see today's newspaper or today's news, TVS bought another British company, a two-wheeler company, Nortian, they bought it yesterday. When the world, world is doing like this, how come uh, Indian companies going and buying international companies? because they are wanting to become an international supplier. So one thing I would like to say is because of Corona, many people okay, understood their total dependence on China. Now they would love to move out because China was world's manufacturing hub. Okay? Now they want to move out of China. So this was started seven, eight months before itself because the Chinese prices were nowhere competitive. So now, because of Corona, it is accelerated. Now many people will move out. Already Japan has announced 2.2 billion worth of aid to their manufacturers to move their operations from China to any other country or to Japan. Okay. So this is a big business opportunity for all of us in India. Because when the business moves out of China, it cannot go to Europe or it cannot go to America or it cannot go to any other places because there the cost of manufacturing is going to be high. So the only better option is either it can come to India or Thailand, Indonesia, Singapore, Malaysia, all these places only, the manufacturing cost will be uh, cheaper. 
so we have a huge potential and opportunity so with this positive point our business is likely to go substantially very high i'm starting my presentation so throughout this presentation uh, i will be talking more of management concepts and uh, basics uh, which will be helping you to understand the profitability to improve the management methodology all these things so as you know there are two things in the scenario which there are some things which is not under your control there are some things which is under your control so i am going to give you suggestions and methods strategies and methods to improve things under your control thereby you can minimize the damage which the things not under your control can happen to you okay so we are going to work on something which is under our control only okay so so business transformation when i say business transformation what is the transformation uh, comparing to the business change okay a change is a, a temporary phenomena and a transformation is a permanent phenomena like you know uh, i will give you a small examples and we over it it is a physical measurable change is called change whereas transformation is extreme radical change okay change where we discuss the past and fix the current okay situations whereas in transformation it creates the future in change we focus on methods and processes whereas in transformation focuses on mindsets and beliefs we spoke we discuss more on mindsets and beliefs external influence is very high in changes whereas in in transformation external influence is very minimal change is often driven by tactics whereas a uh, transformation is driven by strategy so now we are wanting to go for a kaikaku business transformation which is the topic of today's seminar what is kaikaku so kaikaku is a radical change many of us knows about kaizen kaizen is nothing but a small improvement small improvement means incremental increments okay whereas kaikaku is a radical improvement a simple example for a kaizen and kaikaku will be um we had a smaller mobile phones when the mobile phones were launched where we are display will be around 2 inches or 2.5 inches by 2.5 inches only okay then what will happen there is a transformation is incremental is we had a keypad technology that means we need to uh, type the letters a b like that you have to type it out or letters will be 1 2 3 like that it will be there a small change is your qwerty keyboard qwerty keyboard is like what blackberry used to do all the letters will come keypad will be lengthier and you will have a lot of letters it's easy for typing but transformation is keypad technology to touch screen technologies like our business transformation which eliminates complete keypad and your touch screen becomes your screen you can do anything on the touch screen so that is called kaikaku business transformation so if you see it a small incremental changes are like this it is going to give the benefit like this whereas kaikaku is a radical improvement so which is good if you ask me if you see it no like no we know this is a process of evolution of a human thinking or human methodology instead of going through this process go from starting to this point since you know what are the things you need to cover up so going like this is is called a uh, kaikaku thinking okay here it is a tata speed here it is a rocket velocity so that's the reason your growth will be very high okay so if you say it only kaikaku is needed no kaizen plus kaikaku will get you a long lead so that is needed for us today because we have a huge potential for capturing the business why we need this kaikaku business transformation because when the whole market is coming to india and the international buyers or the international people who are sourcing the products they will start looking out indian manufacturing people so if we if we don't have a proper documentation system if you don't have proper quality assurance system if you don't have manufacturing system if you don't have proper order execution system then they will not have confident that we are capable of producing and supplying it on time so this time 
we can gear up and we can equip ourselves and prepare ourselves for the huge business opportunity which is going to come anyway within another maybe 6 months time or 9 months time so that we are ready for handling the business success so the second or third point i want to tell to you is let us move out of our comfort zone why we have to move out of our comfort zone if you see it we are in the comfort zone why we are very comfortable here is we have a fear okay that's the reason we don't want to come out of our comfort zone and if you come out of fear zone you will be learning zone once you start learning and start applying all these things you are care skill expand your comfort zones all these things if you increase it then what will happen is you will deal with challenges and problems then your growth starts so you have to move out of your comfort zone but lot of restrictions will be from this fear zone you will find always lot of ex- excuses and uh, a lack of self confidence will tell you no 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 i am not capable like that it will be saying it but believe me if you move out of your comfort zone then what will happen is your uh, magic happens 97% of the people will prefer to be in the comfort zone only 2 to 3% of the people will move out of their comfort zone example like if you see it um butterfly okay it is very comfortable to be in a cocoon stage or a worm stage because here it need not do it just crawl around or it is very comfortable if he stays in this position it cannot fly okay so if you have an opportunity as i told you business opportunity is coming up so in order to get that opportunity make use of this opportunity you have to move out of your comfort zone but saying is very easy but moving out is very difficult but still it is needed so first to move out of this comfort zone what you need to do is upgrade and update what is the upgrade and update of what our brain so our brain is four quadrants okay and this four quadrants can be further divided into three major portions of brain conscious brain subconscious brain unconscious brain unconscious brain will remember everything which happened from your birth or even sometimes before birth like abhimanyu was hearing from uh, arjuna how to penetrate uh, badma vyuga okay that was when he was in mother's womb he was remembering he was listening to his father and listening how to enter into padma vyuha that is the that is subconscious mind sorry unconscious mind subconscious mind is like when you are traveling from your office to home you don't see the signals you don't see your path you don't see the roads because your mind will drive you how to go through that. so that is called subconscious mind conscious mind is what you are seeing you are seeing a person or a friend in the bike or a car before you immediately you call up and you talk to him you honk your horns and tell him that you are also behind him then you go for a coffee or something that is your conscious mind so many times we make a mistake by changing our conscious mind and we assume that subconscious and unconscious will get changed no i can example it in a simple way if you want to improve your computer operating systems computers in the sense is your desktop computers let us imagine that you bought desktop computer from 5 years or 7 years before if you want to upgrade this if you just change your monitors and keyboard is it get upgraded you just remove crt and put led screen and the computer is not upgraded no so what you are doing it you are increasing your ram you are increasing your hard disk capacity all this thing you are doing it because that is the things which is going to give you space for adding more and more uh, files and videos and new programs like that even with both these things may not be sufficient for upgrading you need to integrate and upgrade yourself with the new operating softwares like means no you are operating a uh, uh, windows 95 windows office 95 now office 365 has come so 95 many of the things may not able to understand many of the uh, programs it cannot accept it okay so that is the reason you need to change the monitor you need to change the hard disk and ram and also need to change your operating system similarly your unconscious mind your conscious mind and your 
subconscious mind, all this needs to be changed. So for this, when you will change is, you have to educate, uh, update and upgrading. So you have to train and develop employees, learn to follow the best practices, practice throughout the world. Like Toyota is doing it. Why I talked about Kaikaku business transformation? Because that is being followed by everyone. I will be talking many technologies, many strategies in this, which are followed by throughout all multinationals throughout the globe. So we are not following it because we didn't feel that importance of it because all our customers never demanded that. Whereas the future, the international customers are going to demand all these things. So you don't have a choice but to, so, but to learn and develop. But learning and developing, it takes its own time. So you cannot imagine that your customers can, um, somebody is scratching it. No audio. Ramdas? Yes, sir. Tell me, sir. What happened? What happened, sir? Any, pro any problem? No, sir. Nothing. What happened, sir? Sir, any interruption? Maybe somebody is not getting it, I think. What happened, sir? What happened? You can unmute and check up with other people's uh, Balamurkan. Okay, okay, fine, sir. So some someone can raise their uh, hand, sir. So in case of uh, they want to, uh, they they want to uh, host it or uh, they want to do something, they can raise their hands. Kumar, you start. Okay. Um, um, so we need time to train our peoples and develop our employees on the new practices and methodologies. For this, we have to practice this. So this, you have to learn it first. So for learning it, it takes minimum six to nine months. So that's the reason I'm saying it. It's the right time for us. We can start learning the new and best technologies and best practices, which is borrowed by the international people. Okay. First, foremost thing what I recommend is don't let your negative people be around with you. These negative people, no, there is nothing wrong in them. Say they never say it is wrong because it is not their fault. They love to blame others. For every problem, they have a, uh, they have a solution. But that solution, what they say, it, no, uh, they will have a, so they have a problem for every solution. Sorry. They have a problem for every solution. If you try to go to any method, no, they will come out and tell you how it cannot be done. Like, you know, uh, many of the political people, if you see it, whatever the government does it, no, they will come on, try to blame the government because they want to be in the situation that they are also active in the business. So stay away from those negative people because they have a problem for every solution. And they also suck your energy. Avoid negative people and be with positive people. Why I'm saying with be with positive people because positive minds think the possible solutions, ideas. So you start thinking for yourself and yourself in the main say I'm talking about your organization. The moment you start thinking for yourself, what will happen is you will innovate the process. So by just start thinking, you will innovate. What is the difference between invention and innovation? Invention is, invention is discovering something new. Innovation is exploiting that invention to the commercial advantage. Somebody is saying that I invented a bulb. Okay, if you say it, no, um, Thomas Alva Edison has invented the bulb. But he never started the bulb manufacturing company. What he did, he started an electricity company that is called exploiting the invention. So GE, General Electric was started. So what happens is it supplies electricity, which in turn uses the bulb. So you have to exploit the inventions. So that is called innovation. So that innovations can come by simply changing your thinking. Yes, I am saying it. The whole innovation can happen by simply think, changing your thinking. Let us take this example. If you start changing your thinking, what will happen? Your attitude changes. The moment you change your attitudes, the actions will change. The moment you change your actions, your habits change. Once you change your habits, 
it becomes your personality and once you change your personality and you become a new destiny and once you change your new destiny your life changes so by just changing your thinking you can change your attitude you can change your action you can change your habits and you can change your personality and change your destiny in turn it's your life okay so thinking is so important okay. so this is a very important example many people will ask me after this uh, session very very simple but it will be mind boggling okay i am say, saying that save money and reduce unnecessary expenses yeah yeah we know it sir this is very simple thing yeah so how many of you know by reducing 3% of your total purchase cost what is the jump in profit we are all engineers we are all buying a lot of equipments every year we are buying it every month you are buying it assuming that our purchase is 100 lakhs per month only material purchase we convert it into a finished product by processing it so the processing cost may be around 35% and then we also have some overheads maybe around 25% you can add up and all we'll add profit another 10 10% then the cost will comes to say 160 rupees or 165 rupees right. sell it at 175 rupees when you are selling at 125 175 rupees you get a profit of 10 rupees okay by reducing the purchase cost by 3% without compromising on commercial terms and quality your profit jumps by 30% the same thing which i told you 100 lakhs 40 lakhs is this conversion cost overhead is 25 lakhs so your total sales price is 175 which gives you a profit of 10 lakhs whereas you saved 3% on here and now all other things remain same conversion cost remains same overhead remains same sales price remains same your profit has become 13 lakhs that means 10 lakhs to 13 lakhs 30% jump in a single month 30% jump in a single month which means okay in a year you are having 36 lakhs it's a huge money okay and second thing is reduce unnecessary expenses so many times first and simplest thing what we do is unnecessary expenses is reduce manpower that's it for me it's a stupidity because reducing manpower it's very easy for us to remove manpower because the talented people are uh, and we will send the people out but those people will get absorbed into other companies or they go to some other place they will never come back to you because when you are not supporting them in tough times those people will never support you at the back okay because you are going to look out for employees for handling higher volumes or increased business for that time you will not get another person who can understand your business requirements okay so many things we can reduce reduce non value added activities expenses reduce dead weights you need engines you don't need bogies correct because if you have bogies you are adding load to you okay that load is going to reduce your efficiency so you need engines everyone have to perform so if the person is not performing you train them how to perform but don't allow him to be a remain as a bogey because by remaining a bogey he is going to create lot of problem he is going to create a dead weight for you okay and most important in our engineering industry reduce overtime if possible remove overtime because the overtime normally we pay two times the pay okay we should not because two times you are paying that is the money you are giving it out so that's the money goes out of it so reduce overtime reduce scrap and waste many time we say that's very very simple thing but how many times we have practiced the moment you start focusing on anything that improves okay reduce scrap and waste reduce power consumption we take it granted power is available for free now we have seen it tamil nadu electricity board if you see it 140000 crores they are in a loss okay they are going to increase the cost of the electricity so unless otherwise you start working now the cost of electricity is going to go up so how your product cost is going to come down your product cost is going to go up so you have to start reducing methodologies to reduce your power consumption holidays in case if you are not working on saturdays earlier now you start working on saturdays we already had one month leave okay there is no need to have holidays on saturdays here after 
so again when it comes to this no efficiency and effectiveness okay many people will get confused what is both are same or different i will simply say that both are needed you should be efficient it is a consistent operations so that is efficiency but doing things right is a if effectiveness so instead of throwing a five dart to hit a bull throw a single dart hit it on the bull so this is called effectiveness you need both effectiveness and efficiency i will give a small example with this many of us thinks that our government company it's a very very difficult it will never uh, implement all these things whatever you are talking it okay we are wrong government is much more advanced than all of us how many of you know that icf has already became the world leader and they are the number one coach manufacturer in the world beating china one and a half years before icf has become the number one coach manufacturer in the world not how they became number one coach manufacturer i went to take class for icf they are saying that we don't work on target sir because we target whatever target they give it we will complete in 7 to 8 months itself i was surprised and i asked for the data i found out they used to take 216 days in 2011 12 uh, to get the somebody is scratching on the things uh, 2016 days they take it to uh, produce 1000 coaches today they are producing the same 1000 coaches in 88 days 216 to 88 days over 7 years how they have done it because they improved effectiveness and efficiency earlier they used to take 289 days for producing 2000 coaches in a year okay now they are taking it 149 days only to produce 2000 coaches two years before they used to take 289 days for producing 3000 coaches now they are taking only 215 days to produce 3000 coaches itself so this is achieved because of effectiveness and efficiency improvement and it's a government organization a government organization like integral coach factory which is right across at chennai which can able to increase and increase in productivity and efficiency and effectiveness we can't be i am not going to give this example alone i'll give another example so somebody has put a scratch then i can remove it on the screen this scratch i do not know how it came okay, okay. you continue we'll okay if you see it no isro isro we are thinking that isro is a government organization okay its number of missions like chandrayaan is one mission like chandrayaan they started in 82 to 86 number of missions they have done it only one and 17 to 22 they plan to do 135 missions number of employees earlier they had 10000 people now they have 17800 people but what is the difference in these things if you ask no the number of missions for doing one mission they had 10000 people for 135 missions also they have only 17800 people this is not through my hat this is our own dr mailsami anathrai presented to all iea members when he made this presentation some 9 months before this is the screenshot when i took it when he was making the presentation okay what is the benefit they are getting it the benefit what they are getting is is the launch cost has come down drastically earlier we used to spend per launch 100000 dollars okay now it is less than 1000 dollars per launch so throughout the world is coming and begging at isro we want you to launch our rockets because the cost is so cheap how they achieved it just because improving their efficiency and effectiveness and the modern technologies whatever they are going to talk about things okay yeah so many times when you ask the people no what is your efficiency we are very proudly say that we are 80% efficient and if you have seven people in your plant who are processing your order your actual efficiency is only 21% i will give it much more simple example if you are having seven people in your organization somebody is a sourcing guy somebody is a purchase guy somebody is a stores somebody is a processing guy somebody is an operation person then somebody will be a quality assurance then somebody will be a dispatch 
So every one operates at 80% efficiency. Let us imagine that. That means, just give an example, take an example of giving 10 rupees to this person, 100 rupees to this person. So what will happen is, we are giving 100 rupees. When he gives the output to him, he will not give 100 rupees, he will give 80 rupees only. Which in turn he gives the second person, he will give 80% of 80 rupees only. Similarly, it goes, it is only 21% is your overall efficiency. Even at the 98% efficiency of your individuals, you know, your organization efficiency is only 87%. And even if you are going at 80, 99%, your organization efficiency is going to be 93% only. And we, many of us, uh, you need not give the data, share the data with me. You just work yourself and try to find out what is your efficiency. You know your people's efficiency. You know how many people are involved. You calculate it. You will be, I am 100% sure, you will be somewhere around 28 to 35%. Not more than that. None of us. Except ISRO and uh, ICF and type of those companies. Okay. Okay. When you say transform, I want you, where you to transform across the product life cycle. Product life cycle, many times we think that we transform in computer uh, systemizing ERP. ERP is a very, very, very small. I call it as a peanut. ERP is a peanut in the whole product life cycle management. What you are doing, only financial transactions you are putting into the systems. That's all. What money comes in, what money goes out. You have a control over it. That's it. But what there is a, like engineering company, PDM, process product data management. Here, the huge benefit, if you have implement this PDM, what is the benefit is 45% reduction in your response time to produce a new product. 45% reduction in your lead time. Because all your mistakes, all your learnings will get recorded. Next time when you are trying to do the same thing, all your learnings will come and help you. Assuming that uh, I was with a company as a senior vice president, okay? I know what are the problems we had. It. We, uh, we used to record all this information. But unfortunately, we didn't have this product life cycle management in that organization. So I know what are the problems it happened. Okay. So when we are, somebody is designing it, when they come across and tell me the problem, then I will tell him, okay, this you can overcome like this. But I left that organization now. Okay. So the knowledge also came out with me. Okay. Now, if the person is doing the same mistakes, they will again go through the, the same methodology, try to understand how much time they will be wasting to remove that mistake. Okay. So second thing is supply chain management. We do not know where to buy, how to buy, because we have a, we don't have a record of our supply chain management people. Complete record of supply chain management is starting from the product development stage itself, not coming at the buying time. That is called supply chain management. Similarly, manufacturing engineering sources. You can involve yourself at the product earlier stage so that your continuous production will not have any problem. And most important is customer relationship management. This customer relationship management, what is the benefit is, you know what your product, whatever intended intentions of your product has been achieved or pursued by the customers. That is called customer relationship management. All these things you have to transform across the entire product life cycle. Many times, okay, uh, we don't plan properly. Okay, what if you ask it, no, he will say that, yeah, yeah, we have a plan. What is the plan? We want to achieve your 40 crore business. How many crores you have done this year? We have done 35 crores. So 40 crore business. But how you are going to do this 40 crores? None of us might have expected Corona. So two months has gone. Another three months will not be there. And how you will be achieving the balance uh, seven months or eight months you are achieving this because we didn't have a plan. We never expected this. So the plan should be such more detailed. Okay. It's just like failing to plan is planning to fail. It is just like going to air, airport, getting into the aircraft, in the available aircraft, and buy a ticket for the available destination. And after reaching the destination, find, trying to find out what to do. So it's not uh, somebody's mistake. It's your mistake. So your plan is, a robust plan should be there. 
this is one of the plan of my organization okay uh, th this is not i am doing it now for the past 25 years we are doing like this this is called expatrix who were as used uh, expatrix or a japanese methodology they know that we know in and out of a product suppose we have a uh, objective is profitability the profitability how we are going to achieve this profitability we divide into two or three and each will get further divided into two or three and each will have an action plan how we are going to achieve it we will measure it every 15th day are we in the track so it's called expatrix is a very big beautiful planning tool okay so expatrix is one of the best and i have used it for the past 20 years and i got every year i got benefit out of it i have i am using expatrix even for my personal planning okay this is one of the best planning tool and it's very simple you need not invest any money on it you have to invest on your computer uh, it's on the excel program only you can prepare it and you can follow it yeah very important one now i will have a small thing we have two army okay total soldiers is 15 lakhs the other side we have 24 lakhs okay infantry is around 7.65 lakhs 12.02 on horses and horse riders horses and horse riders put together is 4 lakh 59 on here it is 7 lakh 21 on elephants similarly if you see it 1 lakh 53 2 lakh 40 on chariot if you see 1 lakh 53 and 2 lakh 40 if you ask any of us which side will win generally the people will say side a or army one will win no army two won this is nothing but mahabharat how it happens this is mahabharat and this is Pan Kauravas and this is Pandavas. How it happened? I am not talking it. I am this is saying. I am taking from this website. How many people are there? So how it happened is many times we think that no, we have a chakra view. When this, when you found this chakra view, how many of you seen the chakra view? It will be like this. So if you see this chakra view, you no, know, you will go through the easiest because they create a path like this. You go with this path. You will take the longest path to reach the center. The easy path, whatever you are available to you, will take you the longest time. Before you reach this space, you will get killed. So that's a called Sakra view. It doesn't look like this because the picture was not available in the internet, but the picture will be like this only. Okay. So actually, Sakra view like this. For this, what we need to do is we need to be like this. You cannot take this path. It's an easy path. Just try it out. If you try to go through this and it will be keep on circling and all, then you have come to the outer circle. Again, you will try to go inner. It will come back. So it will take the longest path. So the difficult path is to cut across this chakra view is penetrating seven layers. But many of us, what we do is we go with the easiest path. We always choose the least resistant path. If somebody says a very tough one, we will not doing it. When I say that you have to follow Kaikaku business transformation, it's very tough. We don't want to follow. If somebody says that, no, we want to plan it in next matrix. No, sir, it is so complex. It's not possible for us to follow. And if you want to increase your efficiency, effectiveness, no, no, no. If we are very good now itself. So what will happen is you will do this way only and you will never reach the destination. Okay. So, the most important things, how Mahabharata was won, not because of the army, not because of the soldiers, but because of the mentoring. You need to pick up a right mentor for your organization. It can be your friend, it can be your own uh, relative, or somebody who knows your business. If you do not have anybody, you have a lot of people available, you can approach those people and take them as a mentor. Of course, you have to pay them. Because that money is, what you are spending is very, very less comparing to the benefit what you are likely to get. Because a mentor will see a totally different point of view. Like, no, you will never find fault with your own son and a daughter. Only your teacher will tell. Your son's teacher and daughter will tell what is the mistake he is doing it. Why they will tell it? Because they see it from a different perspective. We don't see it as that perspective. Okay. So you need to have a good mentor for getting your proper training, you set your goals and get yourself motivated and then get the advice as and when you are in have a trouble 
and achieve success and give a proper direction and help your team to get yourself coached and get support for the organization okay so i am just summing up what we learned today then we'll go for a question and answer session so identify a mentor advisor to support you in the business second one is prepare your strategies and plan for execution without plan don't go for any operations have a detailed plan third one is focus things which are under your control don't waste your time on things which is not under your control have kaikaku business transformation it is not a simple incremental business transformation radical change you should work for it and then magic happens out of your comfort zone remember that so move out of your comfort zone as quickly as possible and upgrade and update increase your knowledge level and skill levels change your thinking to change your life i told you already change if you change your thinking it changes your attitude so once you change your attitude it changes your action once you change your actions it becomes your habit once you change your habit it becomes your personality once you change your personality it becomes your destiny and once you change your destiny it becomes your life and move away from negative people and be with positive people because they give a lot of ideas they will give you a lot of suggestions how to work on it how to face the tough situations save your revenues and spend wisely okay and uh, reduce your non value added acti activities and expenses expenses i mean is not manpower expenses we don't do this mistake of reducing manpower if you do this mistake you have to suffer many people will not tell you i am telling you if you reduce your manpower that is the easiest thing to do to reduce your cost you think like that but i told you you will suffer heavily more than that okay next thing is improve efficiency and effectiveness it's very tough but work on it you educate them you educate your subordinate you educate your people you educate yourself first so increase your efficiency and effectiveness and improve productivity and reduce cost i told you isro has reduced 100000 dollars per launch to 1000 dollars per launch how it is possible when the all product cost going up they have done it and uh, transform across your product life cycle across your product life cycle means design stage concept to the component concept to the component is uh, pdm process data management enterprise resource planning supply chain management manufacturing execution system and customer relationship management all these things you have to handle it in a proper way okay that is called the entire product life cycle and create robust plan identify your key focus areas key performance indicators and executable action plans you have to you cannot create some action plan uh, you tell the action plan to your marketing people you have to increase your sales visit earlier you used to visit five people now visit 15 people how it is possible for meeting 15 people in a day then you will be just going and touching and going only you will not spend quality time with that person so you have to create an action plan which is executable can you go and do it 15 people meeting not possible when it is not possible for you don't give that plan to some of your sales people never take the easy route i told you it will lead you totally wrong okay with this uh, i am coming to end of this session so another uh, 10 15 minutes we have time to questions and answers around the thank you ps kumar now balamurgan uh, they they can uh, unmute themselves and they can work on sir okay okay if any anybody have any questions can ask the questions Kumar, you have unmuted. You have un. You need to unmute. Sorry. Yeah. 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 Thank you, Velraj. Balamurgan, this is Ganesh Meghanathan. He is right. 
show the sign of hand you can try to unmute himself somebody is talking i am unable to hear any question if you don't have any question then there are only two things like what i used to say it you understood everything or you didn't understand anything for a question yeah yeah mr velraj yeah yes uh, you told that there is a success uh, organization you have mentioned uh, isro and icf yeah uh, yeah in spite of all these things there must be a good leader initially that is the major reason uh, will you agree or yeah i 100% agree of course i had been there i found out that leader but what happened is that leader has started following international practice icf is a company where already they are working on industry 4.0 okay isro also using the plm completely long time back some 15 years before itself they started using plm so what i am trying to say is whatever the things uh, we are which is the world, developed the countries are doing it if you start following it we can able to achieve the success which they have proved to the two government organization okay yeah thank you thank you hello morgan any other sir uh, ps kumar sir i have one question from gokul uh, yes gokul ah uh, sir uh, nothing like mm. okay how uh, our uh, most of our okay country gdp they were trying to say like we are going to reach something around uh, 1.8 to 2.4 yeah but uh, uh, the majority of our uh, countries uh, like in production we see there are more uh, mnc companies are there and yeah. uh, they opened it for like uh, fda i think uh, how much of uh, pool company has come inside including manufacturing or automobile or electronics yeah now uh, how this strategy is going to uh, see in our country like uh, this uh, fda is still going to continue or like the made in india is going to make it better see uh, at least the gdp of 2.4 yeah I, i i will tell you one good thing see the thing is what happens is uh, the multinationals no uh, they already have a standard set of procedures which needs to be followed for the manufacturing so what they have it currently they may have a plant at the china example i don't want to tell about the company because i know about many companies in china as i as you know it i had been to china many times i have interacted throughout with lot of people so those companies they are finding it cost competitiveness is not there now operating from china so they will migrate from china to india so it may be a chinese manufacturer or it may be a person who is from abroad who has put up a plant at china will move his plant from china to india so when he comes over here what he says that no the volume will be substantial so he will set the standards to be followed so when when you are going for the things what will happen is he may be producing it in india not necessarily for indian market but for the international market also whether you are producing for indian market for exporting outside india also it is being produced in india and lot of resources of indian people and knowledge and uh, what do you call your uh, labor or your technical people are going to get employed so it is going to definitely benefit us assuming that just give you an example if boeing comes to india okay what will happen maybe the people working in boeing will know how to manufacture the aircraft in a proper way but after 5 10 years down the line india can make our own aircraft also so this is a beneficial for all of us okay sir. thank you any other question today uh, the rajasthan state uh, iia rajasthan state center chairman uh, mr sajan singh yadav was uh, is right now in the is in the meeting also oh very good sajan sir uh, namaskar good evening how are you sir sajan singh yadav sir i think some problem with uh, yeah i see okay okay yeah
ravichandran sir you are unmuted you can talk sir you can go ahead ravichandran sir selvaraj sir also is there Hey, Ravi Chandran. Yeah, Mr. Ravi Chandran. I have a small uh, doubt in your this thing. You, when you reduce three percent of your purchase value, yeah, you you showed some example, no? Yes, yes, yes. Exactly, that uh, transforms into your profit. That may not be there in many occasions. Actually, I am from the fertilizer sector, large scale fertilizer manufacturing unit. Yes, sir. Whenever. whenever we reduce the purchase value some uh, in some uh, sector say some mechanical equipment or in other places instead of going for a, a customary thing most of, uh, every year we are purchasing from the same location we are purchasing from some other location and then we are getting it uh, cheaper but that may lead to the, some downtime and more downtime and then uh, more downtime is even one day loss in fertilizer industry You have to close the plant, then again start the plant. It uh, takes much days, many days. Who's yes, right? Days. Yeah, yeah. What you say is hundred percent right. Eh? So what I was telling you is uh, the I just give a simple example for that. It triggers the people. Okay. Uh, as you as you correctly said, uh, the impact may be ranging from any percentage. Increase in profit will be there definitely. What percentage you have to see it. Second most important when I was talking. i made it very clear without reducing on your quality without compromising on your quality without compromising on any of your commercial terms if you discuss with the customers suppliers okay what will happen is uh, when you express i want to be competitive and i want you to supply to me a lot so i want you to reduce the price only for the next 6 months or 9 months okay there is a possibility many times we i had supplied like this and i also got benefit customer also got benefit we together we came across the cost situations so what happens is it will help him to improve the profitability definitely it will have a impact if you see it the simple arithmetic if you take it to any chartered accountant if you reduce your purchase cost it doesn't go through your process panel that means processing cost conversion cost overhead all this thing it directly goes to the uh, profit so what profit you are reducing it goes to the profit so it may not be 30% it may be 20% it may be 18% it may be 40% it depends upon the organization so definitely there will be a but only thing is you should not compromise many times we make the mistake by reducing the price uh, we will uh, compromise for the lesser quality product as correctly told by you which will create a havoc for our production system and uh, one day production stoppage in a fertilizer plant like huge worse it's going to create a havoc and is the loss is much more so the people you know today you take example ventilators ventilators yeah. the people say that no uh, we don't want to take a risk because if you fail the ventilator the person is going out of control so they the reliability is very important okay so creating a ventilator it is a child's play it can be made in maybe two and a half months time or two months time but testing the ventilator is two years time according to the who standard so that it depends upon the product and depends upon the systems but definitely if you reduce your uh, purchase price without compromising on quality without compromising on your uh, commercial terms you are definitely going to increase your profit what percentage it depends upon your organization depends upon the methodology systems what you are following it in your financial angle hope i answered you sir thank you thank you sir Annapurni Kathi also raised the hand. Ganesh Meghanathan, I think they are unable to mute Balamurugan. They are unmuted, sir. Yeah, Madam, you can ask me question.
Sir, shall we close the session, Kumar? Yeah, I am on board. There is no other question, anything. Annapurni has raised their question. But they are not asking any question. Yes, sir. Not asking any question. Okay, sir. Wait, wait, somebody is writing. Okay. Uh, uh, in the chat, somebody is saying that, um, sir, it is, who is this? Okay. Sir, how can find a path which you put in Chakra view? I mean, is there any strategy to break easy the path? I think I already explained to you, and the thing is, you have to cut across all the seven layers. Then only you can break the chakra view. Otherwise, you cannot break it. Yeah, that's all. Uh, that was question is there. Somebody is asking Savita. Okay. I think uh, there is no questions. We can close the session. Yes, sir. Uh, it was a wonderful session, sir. So uh, you. If they, even people have their question, they can post it in the Facebook and then you can also watch the program uh, offline in YouTube channel. So you can also subscribe it so that uh, next program, the uh, whatever the consecutive program that is being planned by IEA Tamil Nadu State Center would be hosted in YouTube. So you can also uh, have a look on that. So thank you so much for the participants and uh, thank you for your cooperation, sir. So we are ending up the session, sir. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, Ramdas. Thank you, Balamurgan. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.